this year we uh, came to the well, the first to come to the market was the uh, 3G PB certified uh, 5G. Uh, we were also the first to bring the CPE as well, uh, 3G PB certified, and we also came up with our own uh, chipset 5G01 for the terminal and devices. Uh, so you could see that we have been leading the market when it comes to 5G. The second, we came with the first Huawei connected car with Citroën uh, DS7. Uh, we all signed a contract with um, OD for a number of projects, uh, again for uh, intelligent connected cars. Uh, we signed a number of agreements with our partners and ecosystem. Uh, so we brought more partners into the picture in the Middle East, uh, like sets in Lebanon, for example. Uh, we signed with Zain uh, a frame agreement to help uh, develop the digital transformation, uh, to help the economy and the industries across the, uh, across the region. Uh, we signed with um, uh, the Ministry of Telecommunication in Saudi Arabia for some CSR activities. Uh, for a program uh, called the Seed for the Future, uh, where we provide kind of uh, a mini MBA for the students uh, and make them job ready. They get training and development, skills development in the 5G, artificial intelligence, IoT, and the latest in the technology and solutions. We have been growing across the uh, number of references when it comes to smart city and safe city solutions. A big engagement when it comes to our open lab and the ecosystem to provide solutions for different verticals in the industry, uh, in particular in oil and gas, in the utilities. Um, so it has been a very successful year so far. JITEX, our theme this year is about uh, AI and, and 5G. These are the key uh, two things. So we have a full range of uh, solutions, full stack uh, of AI solutions for all scenarios. Uh, that includes uh, the cloud, the big data, the, um, the IoT and, and many others. Of course, 5G leverage as well is part of the solution that we were showing. Uh, we are showing also a number of technologies, if you want, showcasing a number of technologies. If we mention the uh, Fusion Cloud 6.5, this is the new generation uh, of intelligent clouds for the private cloud systems. Uh, we are also showcasing the new Fusion Atlas. This is the new intelligent computing. Again, everything is AI uh, based on leveraging the AI technology. Uh, uh, this system will be uh, one cloud, one lake, talking about data and one platform. This will help and make a difference for customers who want to make digital transformation. Uh, we're also showcasing the, EC3, the EC3000, that's the new intelligent solution um, for unified communication that's cloud-based. And we are showing a breakthrough when it comes to the ELTE, so this is the new generation again, uh, ELT, uh, ELTE DSL, uh, 4.5 gig. It's actually going to enable the VHF, UHF uh, aggregation uh, to bring the spectrum into from narrowband into broadband uh, resources, so that is going to make a big difference uh, if you want in the uh, in the industry. We are also going to have our uh, third uh, annual innovation day, and this will be uh, with the theme of uh, digital Middle East and how the digital transformation is going to help the economic growth in the in the region and transform the different industries. Uh, we are going to have a number of roundtables with our partners and the ecosystem, uh, some uh, verticals like uh, FSI. Uh, so we have a very big and long program for JITEX this year. I, I expect to be very excited and attractive and bring value to all our customers. We continue to invest and focus on AI and 5G. We, we believe that's going to bring uh, a big difference to the industry and transform the way we live and transform the way uh, we do things. Uh, we continue to expand the ecosystem uh, because we believe the ecosystem is going to make the difference if you are talking about smart city, safe city, if you are talking about digital transformation for oil and gas, um, uh, if you are talking about 
smart grids, uh, smart utilities, uh, and so on. Different vertical solutions will require different players, everyone uh, adding his component, if you want, to the, uh, to the equation. One of the biggest uh, plans, actually, for next year is that we are going to move to our new building, uh, which will be, uh, and we'll have our new open lab, of course, in the new building. Uh, and we'll be showing, showcasing all the technology that's built on 5G and uh, AI in this building life. So you will have uh, face recognition coming to the building, you will have uh, plate number recognition for the parking, uh, and the list goes on. So you, all what we're talking about from AI and, and IoT and smart solutions, you will see it and live it live in our open lab and in our new building.